Hi, my name is Andy Penman from Technology Core, and this is a short information video to tell you all about DisplayNote, Technology Core's software that's all about connecting content from the front of the class or the, or the uh, presentation room to any interactive device, any personal device, um, iPad, tablet, laptop, any device that can connect to the internet. It's all about sharing content from here and uh, having it accessible to here so that end users can manipulate, annotate and interact with, with the content. So it's really about addressing the need for con this content to be usable and tangible for every user in the classroom, no matter what device they actually have. Um, so I'll explain a bit how this works and I'll show you how I can control my content from here, my iPad that we happen to be using today and then we'll get a student to log on and show you how that interaction works. So the first thing to tell you is I've, I've got my laptop set up here with my HDI board. Uh, I'm going to click on our display note software and it's going to open up a session for me. So this is us just starting a session. The first thing you need to do, you need to have a session running from a laptop or an iPad or any mobile device and as you set that up uh, it's going to give me a session ID. Now that number is really important. Uh, my student and myself, I'm, I'm going to use this to log on to the session. So I'm using an iPad for today. Um, this is one of the more popular devices we see in education. So we'll start with this. It is important to stress at the start that it can be an iPad, it can be an Android tablet, an iPhone, uh, a netbook. It really doesn't matter as long as it can connect to the internet. The iPad has a display note app freely available in the iTunes store that anyone can download and as I click on that I get a replica screen from the one we had up here before. Um, so this is a session that's been begun, it's already started. I'm going to click join session here and I've got two options, I can join as a presenter or I can, I can join as a participant. Uh, we'll get a participant joining in a moment but for the sake of today I'm going to actually join as a participant to begin with. Um, so we'll just hop on here and show you the side of this. Now a lot of our teachers and end users who use our board have been asking for a solution that will allow them to have remote access to their laptop from their mobile device and this is exactly what the first part, this first feature of Display Note gives us. This is me taking control of my mouse as you can see from my iPad and I can be anywhere in the room uh, and controlling my content from here. So from here I can do things like launch an Excel spreadsheet, um, launch the internet. I really have just got complete control over my whole laptop. Um, I can chuck on annotation from here, uh, circle things, annotate, bring shapes on board, bring up a keyboard, type into a field that we might have open if we go back to our spreadsheet. I've got my onboard keyboard that I can use here. All the kind of tools you're used to seeing with iPad applications are completely open to me, but I'm using my iPad, an Apple product, alongside my PC, my Windows product here. So it's just about joining those two worlds together as well. Um, we'll go back to the desktop for the sake of the next part of this. Um, the important thing here is I've got the same tool sets here on my desktop, so let's bring that pen out here again. I can work bi-interactively from my laptop and it phases out to my mobile device, or I can be controlling from here and it phases back out to my laptop. So it's completely bi-interactive. Okay, so that's, that's the presenter taking control of using Display Note, taking control of the content on the HDI board. Where this gets really exciting is where we invite participants, anyone in the room that's got a mobile device, who's got the Display Note app freely downloaded onto their device, they can hop on as well. The one thing they need to know, they need to be um, very aware of the session ID. So the session ID is 14569, and our student for, for today is going to put their name in, put that number in, simple as that, and press join. Um, as they do that, we'll see them over here appear. So Steve's jumped onto the session. Um, we'll come back to the screen because there's some really nice things that you can do around collaborative use with Steve as we go through. But for the moment, we'll come back here and we'll see that this screen is now phased out from my computer to my presenter device to my student's device as well. So what does this mean? This means that any interactive content, any annotation, any notes, any extra kind of descriptions I chuck on here, that's mirrored out to Steve's machine also, as well as mine here, and anyone else in the room. When I'm happy with my notes, I can hit return to desktop, and that's saved on Steve's iPad or, or device, and my device, as well as my computer here. So it's actually saving the content here. Here's us jumping on an Excel spreadsheet. Now what we might do now is, as I add some content over here, my participant, in this case Steve, he might use his own toolbar, identical to this one, to add his own notes, personal to his learning, 
for the things that are really important to him as he's seeing this content stream through to his device. So he's able to add his own notes in exactly the same way we can. It's completely interactive for him. He can change the color of his pen and add things onto here. He can add shapes. He can type notes. Um, he can bring up his keyboard. He can type notes onto the side of the notepad here and actually make notes that are important to him. So he's seeing the content the same as everyone else in the class. They're all seeing the same thing, but they might be diverging and taking different note sets at each point. So every time we press this button here, and Steve has that same button on his mobile device, that's capturing to that individual device. So they walk away with that content saved fully, fully for them to go back and review at the end. They can see that here. So just to show you a quick view of how that looks. That's how it looks captured on mine, and it will look differently to everyone else's devices, depending on what annotations they've put on to personalize it themselves. Okie dokie. So there's a little bit of a, an indication of, of where the students can start getting involved with this. Where we can start getting more and more collaborative um, is if we come back to our main screen here and we see where Steve's logged in. Okay, at the moment, uh, he's logged on. When he does his annotations, it's just kept privately for him. No one else in the, in the class or the session is seeing this. But what we can do is just by ticking on Steve's name. And by the way, if we had 30 other students in here, you'd see everybody's name grouped in, and we can put different groups in together or jump into individuals here. If I, if I tick on Steve's name and hit collaborate, he'll get a message up on his iPad saying, you're now a collaborator. And as we step through the session, if Steve takes his pen... Um, and I check out, let's do a very simple maths equation, three, three plus three. Um, Steve can pick up a pen and he can collaborate with that and, and solve that for me. Um, only the teacher then can save that and bank that onto everyone else's devices. But me and him are now collaborating in real time. I could ask Steve which quarter he thought was the most successful here when we're reviewing our figures, perhaps, in a maths lesson or in a sales presentation. And he can start indicating which, what's going on there and annotating and showing the group what he thinks is the uh, correct answer and adding content here from this. So this is where we get real-time collaboration happening. Awesome. Other things we can do within the app at the moment, uh, if we take Steve off collaboration there, we could send anyone in the class a message. So what we might do here is, um, is type out a message here. Dun, 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 dun. Just saying to Steve, um, we want you to hurry up. Very simple message, just press send here, and that's going to appear on his screen for him to see. Uh, so that might just be, you've got 10 minutes left in the exam, or uh, we'd like you to have a look at this now. Um, other things we can do, I can drag up Steve's screen. Again, we'll keep, we'll keep his uh, name ticked here, and we'll just click view screen. Very, very simple. It's going to take a snapshot of Steve's screen and show us exactly what he's doing here. So different things we can do with this. Let's imagine um, we know, for example, the iPad has a camera. If, um, if Steve goes out and grabs his, uh, his camera icon here, he could take a picture, video stream, and we could be seeing this. At the moment, this is just him adding, adding notes on here and us just taking a peer in here and seeing what he's done around the content that we've sent out to the rest of the class. So, really quick and easy. Literally just coming down to a tick of a name and a, select, uh, section, uh, a setting of an option here. Collaboration, message, and view screen. This app is, um, is going to evolve fairly heavily over the next few months. There's, there's lots of extra features coming. Um, at the moment, this is, this is where we're at with it. There'll be more videos to describe other feature sets as they come in over the next couple of months. But at the moment, this is, this is a really exciting way of taking any content on, a, on any computer and sharing it out to any mobile device or, or laptop. So um, in a nutshell, that's Display Note um, from Technology Core, all about getting content from the computer out to any device in the room and getting everybody involved in what we're doing. Complete interactivity. Thank you very much.